You know, you're going to be looking at a lot of interior basketball today. You'd like some post play, some great action down low. This is what you're going to get. Erie Offen from Stanford. And it was off the leg of Remley Ryan. 2 nothing our score. Lapolo with a pump fake. Erie Offen from the same spot. Moments in us tonight. Cardinal upset in this same game a year ago at the hands of Ole Miss. Erie Offen was fouled on the way up. Unbelievably composed performance for somebody's debut in the NCAA tournament. All those green indicators tell you that those were... The Naughty Crooks. In my opinion, if Crooks gets 25 or less, even 20 or less, I would say it's got to hit 10 threes tonight. Erie Offen off the glass. Whoa. Maryland on Friday. With Dimitri on the floor for the first time. Very often again, baseline jumper is there. She's got 10. Very good and underrated Middle Tennessee team. How about Erie Offen just straight getting up with that rebound over Audie Crooks. And then for the finish, what a pass. Erie Offen's been the difference for Stanford in the early going. 12 of the 18 points scored by the player with the ball, number 44. Make it 14. Just find some, find some groove. They haven't found a groove yet, team-wise. Jump left open. That's, that's a it. three, and we're tied. And that's a much different and better job defensively. You know, Harry going over the screen. You heard Nikki talk about that. they got to go over it. Under two to go in the half. Entertaining start at Maples. Area game. Trying to pull the freshman away from the low post. With the bounce. Crafty is she. I feel like she's got control of the ball just in one hand. Erie Offen. Woo! Game and a half of the NCAA tournament. One point away from her season high of 22 already. Erie Offen. Erie Offen on Crooks. There's the quickness. And the finish. 24 for Kiki. Iowa State was upset in the first round a year ago by Toledo. Stanford lost in the second round here in this building to Ole Miss as a one seed. Arioff in the mid range. The sounds of March on full display tonight. Jump the step back three and down it goes. Screen for jump for the lead. In and out. Arioff and gets a rebound. That we've seen throughout the course of the season, and there's some terrific post players in the Big 12 Conference. How to position yourself? Two for two for Iria. Four fouls for the freshman. Unanimous Big 12 performer, all conference. Iria in the lead down to one. Audie Crooks Friday night. How about a 34-point evening? Iria in a chance for three on the other end. Watkins. Audie Crooks is a part of that conversation. Caitlin Clark moves on to 10 ties, 16 lead changes. This game has featured a little bit of everything tonight for the right to go to the Sweet 16. Arioffen wow. badly needed with Crooks on the bench after fouling out. Arioffen attacking oh, yeah. at a new career high for 44 in white. You felt that coming. Arioffen was crushed. And fell down hard. All sides. Stanford by two. 30 on the slate this season. They'll advance it after the timeout. And here he. What a game. What a moment for Stanford. A household name with just one night of basketball. But Kiki Uri often says, I see a 40 piece. Let me add one to go. A steal off the inbounds, and that will do it. Stanford survives in overtime. The Cardinal back to the Sweet Six.